Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video as this game is dump now. It's freaking dump, man. Like, yeah, critical ops, man. So, you guys may notice I don't play this game really anymore. You guys, it's showing in the videos I've made and stuff. And uh, I want to make this video because I think it's personally, you know, I, I was playing, I was uh, suggested I should do this kind of video. And, you know, it's like, hey, why not do it? So, um, honestly, I should have done this video for a while if I needed, wanted to, but I'm going to still do it yet as Critical Ops. There's something with Critical Ops that I want to rant about, and it's going to start off with the daily missions right here. As first, let me say this so Critical Ops, I think, has been very greedy with the money and stuff. You know, if you guys don't know or whatever, I'm gonna explain some of the details in this video. But I've been really seeing a lot of changes with this game, and it has to involve money and stuff too. Like, like, remember when you could literally get credits from the daily missions? In this game, well, not anymore, not anymore. You can get XP from this, uh, from completing these missions now, and these XPs comes into play with the critical pass. But though you have to buy the critical pass, so I don't know how much exactly the critical pass is, but like you know, you just gotta like, purchase that, and it's affected with that. But uh. Anyway, so, if you guys remember uh, a certain event that was going on in this game, like, I don't remember what it was called, but, like, um, but pretty much, the, uh, there was an event called, like, I think, Paint Wars or whatever it was, and you wouldn't believe how many credits it was to get the case for the event. Like, it's ridiculous, man. Like, honestly, it was probably, like, seven bucks to get... A case for the for that event now this was a while back so I just want to see how many how much it is for credits so I think it was like a thousand credits to get one single case out of a uh, of an event from a case not even kidding if you have seven bucks for a case in this game that's like that's like I'm not saying Okay, before okay, before I continue on, I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't buy anything from this game or anything or whatever it is. I'm just saying this just to, you know, just just show you guys that, you know, this game really, you know, they're really changing this game up a little bit and this is kind of what I've been seeing that I find it's a little fishy. So, just keep that in mind. Just don't bash Critical Ops too hard. If you want to purchase or buy stuff from this game, if you enjoy it, you know, if you enjoy this game, I say, you know, buy this, buy stuff or whatever, buy the skins, buy the critical pass or whatever. Just a guy like me that I've been playing this game for a while and, you know, don't play it anymore. I just, just find it's a little fishy is that, that they would have us buy, make us spend seven bucks for a case for a, an event case that's living the time and... The skins may not be the best or whatever. It's really, it's really your guys' opinion, but whatever. It's kind of that's kind of what's going on. So, um, but let me look at right now. I see a vector is on sale for three credit, three hundred credits, and that is the Lotus skin. Do you guys see that right there? A limited time offer. It is three hundred credits. Keep that in mind. It's 300 credits. And for that, that would be over $2. Just to get just get that skin. It's not even a... It's, it's only a tier 2 skin. It's a lousy tier 2 skin. It's almost a tier 1 skin. Just the looks of it. And it's for 2 some bucks. That's a ripoff right there. Where you can literally just open a case... A normal case, just a standard case for 200 to 200 credits, which is under two dollars. That does not. That is not an offer. That is just a ripoff. That is just. That is highway robbery, man. 
You're gonna make people spend 300 credits for a lotus skin? What are you think? What are you thinking? Like, like, if you want to make this skin valuable or want people to buy this skin or whatever, lower the credits from this. This is way too much for a basic skin like this. This is a common skin you can get out of a normal case. Like, I almost feel like just buying a case and see what I get. I, I guarantee I'll probably get a better skin than this. Maybe. I want to see how much of the premium skins are, or cases are. It's all, it's all 700 cases, which is a, which you can get better skins or higher chance to get better skins out of a premium case. But this is just a ripoff right here. And going back to the missions, um, Remember when I said that you can you used to can get credits from completing missions? Like I even did a series where I just complete my missions and then I gain credits to open a case and stuff. I remember doing that, but you can't. That doesn't happen anymore, and you can only get XP from the game, which plays the role with the critical pass, which I'm gonna tap on right now. You can get XP from the critical pass, and uh, you can get the pass for how much now? I'm guaranteed some credits. 1,400 credits. 1,400 credits. Which is, I think there's a, I think there's an exact price for this in the store. It is 10 bucks to get the critical pass. And I believe the season four came out for this critical pass, so yeah. So you pretty much have that. Like, I mean, honestly, a lot of people really do enjoy grinding with this critical pass. I mean, you know, I would say, you know, I say it's probably worth it. Maybe I'm not hundred percent sure, but you know, like the seasons, you know, I don't remember how long the seasons are for this. I don't remember, but like. Um, you know, see, like, you know, if you want to get something, you have to buy it from this game now. You know, it's kind of just a, like, this, like, this is ridiculous. Like, honestly, this is something you can complain about regardless. Like, a 300 credit skin, a vector lotus skin, a tier 2 skin. You want somebody to buy for 300 credits, which is more than just buying a case which is 200 credits. Highway robbery, it's over two bucks just to get a, a lousy skin like that. Like, like if you want to actually, like, want people to purchase a skin for a limited time offer, have it be a decent skin that people actually like, and then lower the credits at least, because this is, this is ridiculous. Like, I'm not going to purchase, like, 300 credits for a Lotus skin. I don't know who would, like, you, you you see tier 1 skins on this, on these limited time offers, they do, and they're not worth it, they're not really worth it, like, no one would probably want this skin, like, you're better off opening a case from this skin, that's the only thing in this game that's actually worth per buying, is literally the skins, and the only way you can get free credits from this game now is watching ads, I believe you get three ads per day, I believe. I don't know if they change that or whatever, or if it's just one. <laughs> I don't know, but like, that's the only way you can get free credits now, and that's going to take a while, probably. Like, you can't get it from missions anymore. That was, the, that was the other way you could get credits, but that's, now you have to buy the credits now if you want to do you know want to get some stuff from this game and then you can complete offers i don't know what kind of offers and what kind of how much credits you can get from complete offers but this is kind of how it is now so yeah yeah um i think that's all i have for the rant just uh just critical cost is all a bunch of uh it's just now all a bunch of just it's all money now with this game like and one of the updates where you literally had, where you can literally set your own lobby in the host settings, you know, that's actually pretty cool, you know, but why would you not have the ability for us to ban certain weapons in, like, a lobby? Like, 
like lock le weapons, like lock certain weapons, because I often see sniper only lobbies in critical ops. And can I find one here? Well, there's not one here, but co commonly enough, if I do play critical ops, I do see a sniper only lobby somewhere. And, you know, you know, that'd be perfect. Like, you know, you could just lock every weapon except for the snipers. That's it. You can literally lock every single weapon except snipers if you actually implemented this into the game. I don't know why that they, they didn't do that. I mentioned it in an update video. It's like, you know, it would be cool if they actually did this. You know, I think that would have been good. But I have no idea why in the world they wouldn't do that when people out here like me would just say like, you know. You know, we got a bunch of sniper only lobbies out there in this game where you can just snipe nothing else and you know they don't they don't take they don't take our advice and they just do whatever they want <sighs> this game's this game's not the that good anymore i've not played this game really i've not played this game for like almost a month now guys enjoy my fortnite content if you guys enjoy fortnite please stick around in general just please stick around because i'm hoping to create some good content on this channel it's kind of starting in already and i hope you guys are enjoying those kind of videos but i'm not done with critical ops don't think this is my last video of this game but don't expect too many videos from this game though you know i'll probably have a game or you know maybe i'll have an update review on something like that i'll do that probably but um but in general you know these uh you know, just regular videos of Critical Ops, you know, don't expect daily videos, don't even expect a week of uh, Critical Ops video every single week. I will only upload a Critical Ops video if I feel like it, so, honestly, I hate to say this, but I'm almost thinking of, you know, moving on with the game I've been enjoying, which is Fortnite, but, you know, I'm not going to say that yet, not yet, I don't know when that's going to be. But that's my rant. Well, if you guys understand, please don't hate the Critical Ops community for this. You know, it's a good game, but there's some things that I would say would should be a little more. You know, I think they should actually do something and change it, because this is ridiculous. Oh, man, I I never usually rant about this game usually, but I had to because I think it's kind of ridiculous. For the certain things they do for us to buy, or well, for us to purchase their things that is like not worth it. Like, like who thinks this is worth 300 credits? This skin is worth 300 credits. Who actually thinks this is worth 300 credits? Tell me. No one, everyone here would say this skin is not worth it. So, yeah, that's all I have for this video, you guys. Um... Hopefully you guys dropped a like on the video. It's just understand that what I'm saying here. Uh, comment down below. I want to see you guys' opinion. And uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Whatever videos I make. Um, lately it's been Fortnite. And I've been really enjoying it. It may not show in the views. But I have been enjoying it. And honestly I actually kind of see a little bit of. Gain of a little bit of audience from Fortnite and stuff. I don't know. It may not show in the views, but I've kind of seen it, though. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later for another video. Peace out.